Well, good morning, folks. It's the last day of the trip. Spent the night here, Hotel Iriguabel in Pamplona. A little bit of bike maintenance going on. Those were those chain things. They've had to sort them out. And Brian's running a bit low on coolant. So we're just sorting that out. And then we have the small matter of the vest. So, yesterday Brian had the vest. Why did you have the vest? Huh? How, why did you have the vest yesterday? He chose me for no reason. Safety. What's that? It's dark, wasn't it? Safety. Safety reasons you were, I mean, that was harsh. That was harsh. However, young Matthew here. We had a, a, a little tournament last night in the go-karting. What was the, uh, the, the, um... The person who's the slowest, fastest time had to wear the vest today. So the slowest, best lap yep. had to wear the vest today. And who got the slowest, best lap? That was you, wasn't it? That was you, Matthew. Yeah. So today, I think Brian is going to award you the yellow vest. You're going to have to um, sign that, if you wouldn't mind. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Excellent work. Yeah. Welcome. I enjoyed my time. Good. You wore it well. And then, Gary, you were the 19th, mate. Beautiful. You Good mean. work, sir. <laughs> they are knowing Matthew. Thank you, sir. I'll just... Uh, no offence, but I'll just take these out a little bit at the moment. <laughs> they are made of shoot. He's broke it. He's broke the vest of shame. Oh, I think you might be wearing that tomorrow as well. Wow. Uh, it will be going on, and it will be staying. You got it for the ferry as well. Of course, not much Velcro left there, Matt. <laughs> Fantastic. Suits you. Looks good. Liking it. Right, excellent. Everyone sorted? Right. Particularly savage on this one. Particularly savage. That was a great scream last night, the go-karting. Oh my god, Every, everyone feels like they've been to the gym though. <laughs> Bunch of old farts. Sync them up. And off we jolly well. Everyone ready? Beautiful. Straight on this one, stay on the main, straight on. Nine degrees it is this morning. Right, you might recognise a little bit the first um, five, ten minutes. We'll be doing part of that 700 road that we did on the first day coming into Pamplona. So folks, we are heading north today, back up towards Bilbao. Staying just outside Bilbao tonight. And then it's a nice easy 40 odd minute ride to the ferry port in the morning for the half past 10 a.m. ferry. Oof, big massive wall of cloud over there, of rain. Ooh. Looking at that, it's going to be waterproof time. <laughs> Is the vest waterproof? <laughs> oh God, look at all that. It's not that one, is it? It's this one. All right. Jacket. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put trousers on. Oh, bollocks. Lots and lots of faff. All right, so we are now all well and truly boiling a bag in our waterproofs and we venture on into that. Well, we're heading that way, but uh, we're gonna get wet. N A seven zero one zero. Like before, folks. If you check down in the description below, there'll be a link to the uh, tracking of all the rides for this tour. You can download the uh, ride, and you'll be able to do it yourself. But if you watch the vids, you'll see the roads to avoid the bumpy, crappy ones. Just work out an alternative around them, and Bob's your uncle. The good roads are really good. Or come on too. Very smooth engine this. Really smooth. 
If you work the revs a bit more, go higher up into the rev range, it's actually um, it's not too bad performance-wise. Still don't think it's as grunty as the GS or KTM. But it's not a slouch. Nice little squirt to blow away the cobwebs, wasn't it? Morning! At least we'll be able to see you though, mate, in your attractive attire. Matt's saying it's getting dark, but then he's got sunglasses and a tinted visor on. Nice lad. Thick as fuck. Just got very good all of a sudden. NA7015, this is. Pretty sure this is the bit that we did towards the end of day one. Joins up with the NA700. Or the N700. Cool, I bet you'll get some carp down there. glory big glory arctic coming down imagine sending that down these roads it is wasn't it yeah yeah na7110 there on the n7040 folks lovely stretch of tarmac again a little bit of gravel and stuff in the road but it's been okay so far Bit of a makeshift route this using the Cali Moto. Whoa, Jesus, thought that lorry that tractor was coming straight towards me. Yeah, he came round the bend and just saw that tractor as he was turning <laughs> across the path. Oh, but yeah, nice way to wake up. I'm glad we put the waterproofs on as well. <laughs> well, one way to guarantee a nice day, isn't it? I mean, where's all that cloud and everything gone? We sort of came round the corner and up ahead in the valley there was just this little strip of blue and you thought, oh, and all of a sudden, all the grey's gone. Not complaining. A vista. N seven three three zero. Look at the surface of this, we are in the middle of nowhere. Stunning. Yeah, and that's the NA700, that's the road we just turned off. That's nice that, isn't it? Out of Splosh. Do you know, I've no idea what the name of this town is. None at all. After you. You're welcome. Apparently, folks, we are in Estella. Seems like, oh, it's a bull ring there. That is a bull ring on the right. On the road again. 
Need Richie Vida here singing. Gonna have to get him to do that. Come along on a trip, you can serenade us. Yeah, he's a lovely lad. Very down to earth. I'll be 50 quid, please, Richie. Top man. In the post, usual manner. Good lad. That TMF, he's a wanker. And the less said about lamb jobs, the better. Any 718. It feels sluggish. It doesn't feel like I'm going very quick. I suppose because it's got stock exhaust, it's much. Is it an arrow can? Oh, bloody hell, I didn't even know that. It just, it, it just, it just doesn't feel sporty, do you know? It just, I suppose it's the lack of sound, everything, it just, meh. It just feels, it just feels like it's doing it and there's not much fun about it. It just doesn't feel as sort of lively as the GS is, you know, you can flick the GS, it's nice and low centre gravity. This, this feels a, a bigger machine. Could all be the rider. Yeah, okay. How is that vest, Matt? Is it okay? Well, if you want to go ahead, you've got six miles of this. Get onto a bit more of a straight bit and I'll pull the side. There you are, mate. Fire on. Go on, boys. Uh, I've got Matt and uh, Ian in front. KTM and MT10. playing there. Where the hell did the music come from? Let everyone else bunch up, mate. We're going to do a left up here. What's up, man? Cheers. Yeah, that was a bit of fun, wasn't it? Zudea. This is like the Picos. And on we go. NA71300. Yeah, this is a lot like some of the Picos roads. Where's that going? Oh, I hate those ones. You just don't know, do you? Because all of a sudden, you just go whoop! <laughs> but again, look at the surface of this road. Go on, Ian, go on. We pay for it. <laughs> wow. See the big hawk? Right, it's eight miles of this if anyone wants to overtake. I feel a bike squirrel across these damp patches as well. Ah, see this, this is like the Picos, beautiful. the brakes you This is for later on, this isn't for the video, this is for me. <laughs> <laughs> suits you, Matthew, suits you. 
good on me, doesn't it? Oh, yes. Get you a pink one for next year. <laughs> You're not invited. Well, people, nice little bit of grub there. We had some great company, loads of flies. But uh, yeah, nice little place. Happening spot, that. Lifting, oh no, not this one, not this one, not this one. At the end, lifting, lifting. Onto the uh, A627. Seems to be quite a popular bikey place, that. So I'm assuming this road may well be why. I think that's a yes. That's a fun little road, that. Oh, we're doing this right here. Oxycandio Oleta, we're doing right, right. Better mark that. Well, who's doing it? Are you doing it? Lovely. Thank you, Paul. BI2543. Deer on the left, or goat, whatever it is. Goat. Uh, more goats on the right. Oh, now it's raining too. Awesome. This is fun, isn't it? Have faith. Have faith. Oh Jesus, where is it? Oh look, good, now it's downhill as well. Awesome. And it'll join up with the road that we just turned off. Yeah, avoid this one. Oh, it's all right folks, I've seen a car, we're okay. I've seen civilization. Look at the rain. <laughs> Can't say I'm that much of a fan of this bit. 13 miles to go. Oh, do you need fuel? Do you want that? May as well, we're only 13 mile away. Oh, get off the brakes. Don't want to do anything in the wet. It's just started running into my boots now. Fantastic. Ah, oh, it's a nice way to end the day, isn't it? Icy, slippery, wet road, which was nice. All right then, folks, we are just coming up to the hotel, about four miles away. And here we are. Good morning, everybody. Well, last day, just heading to the ferry now. Stayed here, just at South Bilbao, Ibis Budget. It's all right, busy place. Some of the lads ended up out uh, on the Randan last night. There's a few rough, sore heads here. Uh, it's just quick half hour black on the motorway up to the hotel. Sink these up. <laughs> Chilly this morning, 11 degrees. Hooligans, each and every one of you. Oh, right, off we go. God, it's blooming dark, isn't it? It's been a very quiet, sombre ride this morning. I think it's going to be a particularly quiet ferry journey. A lot of people just sat in their rooms, sleeping. But Robinson's, I'm straight to the bar. <laughs> when it says ferry, I think that gives it away. And... Cute. Home sweet home for 24 hours. There's some hooligans over there. Definitely need the probe. Hold up. Run the helmet off. Cheery. 
Gracias. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Matt looks very, very jaded over there. All right, almost time. Well, I made a quick off the mark today. Thought we were going to have to wait hours. You know what Mrs. Teapot wanted? She said, don't get me any gin, I've got loads of gin. You know, she, she lets me go away on these bike trips as long as I bring her bottle of gin back. But she said, I've got too much gin, so I thought, oh, I've escaped there. She went, no, I'll have a bottle of Bailey's, please. Well, for God's sake. Bloody alcoholic, my wife. Well, I'm never there, so it's not living with me, is it? She sits at home and sobs a little heart out when I'm not there. <laughs> Isn't that right, Mrs. Teapot? <laughs> Are we there yet? I've got to ride all the way home. Dump my, crit, my kit off and then right up to Bloomin' Triumph. Pink lane, drop this off and then get the train home. Ugh. Beautiful. Bosh, bosh, bosh. Done. <clears throat> to the bar. So, folks, that is us done for 2019 Pyrenees Playtime Tour. Back in Blighty, if you enjoyed it and you fancy coming along with us next year, get in touch. Right folks, all you subscribers, thank you very much for all your support, all you patrons, you know I love you. If you fancy checking out the Patreon, patreon.com forward slash teapot1. If you fancy subscribing, smash the subscribe button down below. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, ring that bell, Come join the fun. Alright folks, see you all later on. Keep on doing your thing. Look after those that you love. But most of all, live your life. <laughs>